Izza is a very important concept in Islam. Allah says that Izza only belongs to Allah. It says in Surah An-Nisa, Izza only belongs to Allah. And that has so many implications and consequences if we were to take that seriously. Because a lot of what we do in the dunya, how we undermine ourselves is assuming that somebody else has Izza. Izza is like honor. Okay, it's like honor and uh, dignity. Maybe maybe we could say honor and dignity. And so um, if we don't realize that Allah has all Izza and that he's the one that distributes it and grants it, we make the mistake that we think it is with another person. We think it's with the politicians or we think that it's with the people of clout or the celebrities or whatever. Then we act in a servile way towards those people because we want the izzah. We think that we're going to get honor from them or dignity from them. And Allah is telling us it's the opposite. You have to be relating vertically, not horizontally. Okay. There's no izzah horizontally. There's only izzah vertically. Okay. So if you want honor, the honor is in Islam. That's it. If you want honor, honor is in what Allah gives you. And Allah is not going to give it to you if you are being servile and like this towards the creation. Now, we're supposed to only worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the true meaning of what worship is, complete servitude. And that's the kind of beautiful paradox is that if you only submit to Allah, he gives you the honor among the creation. And if you try to serve the creation and make everybody happy, then he takes away the honor from you. There's actually a hadith of the Prophet I believe it's in Sahih Muslim, where he says that whoever tries to please the people by, why, by what Allah hates, then Allah will cause the people to hate him and Allah will hate him too.